Okay, hello everyone and welcome back, Super Soka, and I want to show you how to get to GM Island today. Uh, GM Island stands for it's Game Master Island, and it's actually in Vanilla World of Warcraft. It's been there since beta, uh, but it's not, as far as I know, there's no way to access GM Island uh, in any conventional means on any private server, or there never was any way to get there, as far as I know, uh, in any legitimate way on the retail vanilla servers. I'm not sure if GM Island is still around in the live servers on Warlords of Drainer. I don't believe it is, or if it is, it's been modified quite a bit from where it is now, perhaps. Uh, but the reason why you cannot get to Game Master Island or GM Island is because there's actually a big uh, space of inaccessible land between uh, Kalimdor and GM Island. And this inaccessible area is literally, there's nothing in the game there, just like an empty space. So as far as I know, you cannot swim using the fatigue glitch that I showed you for the South Sea Islands to get to GM Island. If we were to look on the world map, uh, basically we're in Kalimdor right now, so we're on the westernmost continent, and my understanding is that GM Island is somewhere northwest of Teldra, so way off the screen here, you can't even see it. So, uh, how are we going to get there, you might ask? And uh, we're actually playing as Super Mage, our level 60 troll, and this is on a very weird server. This is on an offline server, is what I would call it. You can see if I slash who, I'm the only person here. There's no one playing the game right now. And I actually basically set up my own server uh, on my computer. Uh, my ROM list is literally my home IP address, kind of like a 127001 type of thing. And uh, right now, we're in the middle of the Baron. So we're going to go ahead and teleport because I'm a game master. I can do whatever I want. We're going to teleport over to GM Island. I already set up a little macro here. So we're going to click that macro. Now we're in GM Island contested territory. If you look at the map, uh, we don't really show up. If you look in the way up top left here, uh, I do show up momentarily in this very top left corner, uh, but when I refresh the page, I lose that. So I don't really know exactly if this is how far out you really are, but basically, uh, as far as I can tell, GM Island is kind of off the charted territory of the game. If we zoom out all the way, you can see it. Zoom back in the calendar, you can't see it. So we're way over here, way far away from any land. So uh, let me give you a little bit of tour of GM Island. And I'll show you, so the actual coordinates for GM Island. If we look, we don't have any coordinates showing anywhere. I don't have a coordinate mo um, add-on going with this character. But if we were to look at our macros, uh, GM Island, the coordinates that I set, the command I use to teleport is dot go. So literally I just type in period, geo, space, and then these coordinates. These co um, correspond to kind of X, Y, Z coordinates. So we're talking about like horizontal distance, vertical distance, and then depth is the 14. So... Let's give a quick tour of GM Island. So here we are. Uh, from a distance, you can see, basically, it's not a huge island. And our mini-map's totally busted right now. It's actually just showing the mini-map of the Barrens right now. I don't know why exactly it does that, but it's basically what we're seeing. And if we look around nearby, there's really not anything around here. It's totally just desolate and deserted. We can see in all directions, there's just nothing out there. Uh, and then there's a big house in the center of the island there. We're going to come back to that in just a moment. Uh, on our tour. It's one of the last stops actually on our tour. So the island is relatively small and we're gonna go ahead and uh, mount up actually. I do have a pretty nice mount. I have this death charger uh, you get from Baron Rivendare. Uh, you can also add your own items since I'm technically a GM. Basically I chose a mage as my character because he has a lot of features that make him nicer traveling between blinking and ice blocking and just simply being able to teleport. Pretty cool stuff. So we kind of ran around the front of the island there. We had a little boat, a little dock. Uh, there is kind of this big mountain here. As far as I know, there's really nothing around the other side of the mountain to look at. There is a small house here. And my understanding of GM Island is the whole purpose of GM Island is to give game masters a place where they can log in and log out kind of uh, easily and where they can keep their character at while they're answering tickets if they need to. Uh, so there's really very little here. It's a very simple place. A little more this mountain off to the left here. We can go inside. There is a mailbox here, so that's one nice thing. Uh, they do have access to a fully functioning mailbox. I have no mail, because I have no one to send mail to or from, because I'm by myself on this server. And we can kind of take a little peek in the house. It's sort of a traditional, almost human-style house, or maybe dwarf house. A little bit of glitchiness going on with the screen there. Uh, we really not much to show. We have a nice little balcony over here. You can kind of overlook the basic nothingness out in the ocean all directions. Uh, there are some birds flying around, nothing too much. Uh, we can use this to kind of walk around. We can't mount up out here, unfortunately. And 
We can kind of get a little tour of the back of the building. I'm not seeing much, but there we go. You can see the minimap did change now that we're inside of the house. It's very weird sort of textures for the minimap. There's just not a lot to it. It's very strange. Uh, if you're wondering what my shoulders are, by the way, the gear, I'm running the mantle of the fire festival. I just think they're kind of cool looking. And then I've got some like black tuxedo shirt and a few things like that. Uh, so we go back downstairs where we came in and we pretty much have seen everything now, right? There's really not much else. There is one more little staircase over here and you can interact with some of these things here. So there is a few chairs we can click on and interact with one of the few interactable things on GM Island. Upstairs, a bearskin rug, a few more chairs, and a little boar's head over here. And that's mostly it. It's pretty much the entirety of GM Island. However, there is one last little thing, and then most people have probably heard of this before, uh, but there's a chair buried underneath GM Island. And if we were to actually walk to about here, roughly in this area, if we were to go underground underneath this mountain, we would get to GM Island. And, or not to Jam Island, excuse me, we would get to this hidden chair. So I've set some coordinates, and I'll, I'll show you these again. So the coordinates for Jam Island, you know, 16,200, 16,214 roughly. The coordinates of each chair, very similar, right? 16,228, 16,222, so very similar X coordinates. The Y coordinates are a little different, 164, 16265. And the depth, you'll notice the Z, which is the height that we will teleport, is much lower. It's a negative 63 as opposed to a positive 14. That's a pretty significant difference. So let's go ahead. I'll show you once. GM Island. We teleported to this location when we use our first command. And if we go to uh, the chair now, this is where we end up. So it's hard to explain exactly where we are. There's really, again, you can see the minimap we're in the same spot uh, pretty much. But this is the kind of infamous chair room. And it goes up pretty hot tall, actually. And here we have this little chair. It's like the one thing you can do in this room. Sit here and down on the little chair, click and sit there. And what I was told was that this chair is a place where in certain cases GMs would teleport uh, exploiting players or characters doing something bad to this location and they would talk to them or do something. And it's not like necessarily uh, heavily used because I don't think you have to go here to be banned on WoW, certainly not. But there's cases where they would put a character here for whatever reason they thought it might be fun. Uh, so. One thing we can do, I want to show you the depth of this room, just how tall. It's hard to see exactly how tall this room is. So we're going to go to our macro here. And instead of negative 63, we're going to change it to negative 20. And we're going to exit out. And I'm going to cast slow fall myself. And we're going to go ahead and click it again. Now we can kind of get a better feeling for how tall this room is. So we're falling down. And we can even maybe set it a little bit higher. Let's try negative 10. I don't know if this will put us into the ground or not. Uh, get us stuck. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, so even higher we can still go, and it's quite a fall. Uh, let's try just uh, setting it to 1. Make sure our slow fall is working. I don't really want to die here. I don't want to have to deal with resing myself. And let's try one more time. Still quite a fall, actually. Uh, so this is basically the entirety of GM Island. There's not much to it. There's a little house, a little boat, a couple chairs you can interact with in the house itself, and then of course this hidden chair uh, all the way underground underneath that mountain. And that's pretty much it. You can see we're still stuck in the sitting stance, which is kind of funny. Uh, but that's GM Island. If you have any questions, let me know. You can see the mini-map again is kind of bugged in this area. Um, there's not much to it, but it's kind of fun. And if you know a way to access this in a vanilla server without using GM commands, let me know. I'd be really curious to try and get there. Uh, but everything I looked into and everything I tried myself, I could not get here without basically becoming a game master and cheating my way to the island. So... That's Game Master Island, and that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.